My name is Richard Lewis. I'm a professor of neurology at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Um, I've been the past president of the Peripheral Nerve Society and chair of the Inflammatory Neuropathy Consortium. Um, so one of my interests has been in the inflammatory neuropathies. The most common acute inflammatory neuropathy is called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which you may have heard of. That's a monophasic illness where people, from the time they start having symptoms to the time they're at their worst, is about three weeks, sometimes four, and they can be completely paralyzed. But fortunately, with some treatments and with time, most of those people get significantly better and are able to ambulate. The disorder we're going to talk about today is CIDP, or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. It has a lot of relationships to Guillain-Barre syndrome, the difference being that its progression is greater than eight weeks by definition. Now, it could be relapsing or progressing, but the disorder continues to progress and requires ongoing treatments. There are treatments for it. Um, there are three that have are considered the primary treatments, which are corticosteroids, intravenous uh, uh, immunoglobulins, IVIG, or its companion subcutaneous immunoglobulin, and plasma exchange. Um, there are other th treatments that may work, but we don't have the evidence that um, is um, proves that they work, but they're all immunosuppressants of various types. Um, so there has been a need to find new treatments that might be able to stop, halt, and control the disease in ways that the other treatments can't, because no treatment is successful in every patient, whether it be that they're not effective in some patients or the patient has side effects, um, but we're, we are in need of new treatments. So the, the most recently, um, our Genix has announced that there's a compound that they're looking at, call, um, which is called Fgartigamod, um, which is an FCRN inhibitor. A lot of letters. What it basically does is reduce the amount of circulating IgG or immunoglobulin G. When you get IVIG, they give you 10,000 people's IgG, and those IgG block the pathogenic things that are going on in CIDP and also in Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's a, one of the main treatments of Guillain-Barre syndrome. FCRN inhibitors do the exact opposite. They knock down your IgG, which we weren't sure at the time, but we thought was a major player in the, what causes CIDP. And unfortunately, we don't really know the cause of CIDP, which is actually a syndrome. So there are a number of different presentations, and the likelihood is that there's not one specific cause, but many. So this trial looked at a subcutaneous form of Fgartigamod, where patients get it weekly. Um, the injection only takes about 90 seconds, so it's pretty quick pretty easy to do. And they basically took patients with CIDP um, and then had them go off their pr prior treatments, which most of the patients was IVIG. When they relapsed, they treated them with this medication. And what they found was over two thirds of the patients who had gotten worse when they went off their IgG um, actually got better with this treatment. Now, two-thirds doesn't sound like a lot, but actually when you look at it, it was a little closer to about three-quarters of the patient, and um, it's actually a, quite a striking response to the treatment. One of the things this trial did that no other trial had done before was to really delve deep to make sure that the patients actually had CIDP. A colleague of mine and, and uh, with me reported that in the um, public, in regular care, over half the patients who are considered to have CIDP may not have that the, the disease. And so there was an adjudication committee 
to make sure that the patients who were called CIDP actually had it. And like our paper, about half the patients were taken out of the study because we didn't think they met the criteria for the study. This is also the largest trial in CIDP that's been conducted. The, there were over 300 patients enrolled. So then the trial took all the patients who had responded to that initial treatment and then randomized them to getting the medicine or not getting the medicine, getting placebo. And what they showed is that within eight weeks, the majority of placebo patients had relapsed, where the majority of patients with the uh, FGAR tigamod um, did not um, relapse. So there was a significant protective effect of staying on the FGAR tigamod that lasted up to um, a year. So the um, conclusion that we reached, and um, we've looked at it a lot of different ways, is that one, there is clearly an effect of this medicine on the ma majority of patients, that this means that IgG, immunoglobulin G, the certain form of immunoglobulin, is particularly important in the, in the cause of the disease in these patients, that being on it will can keep you sustained with improvement for up to a year. We don't know longer because the trial did not go any further than that. So it's a very exciting um, trial and is the first new treatment for CIDP in over 30 years. So we're very excited about this. Um, and it gives a new uh, possibility for to treat this disease, which in many ways is going to be an advantage over some of the other medications that we currently have.